this was intermolecular forces we started last week uh, last class basically there are three types of intermolecular force dipole dipole force dipole induced dipole and hydrogen bonding the last we were discussing the hydrogen bond when hydrogen forming a bond with more electronegative elements such as oxygen nitrogen or fluorine it what it appear it appear that hydrogen almost lost its electron to the more electronegative element so the hydrogen is attracted towards another molecule lone pair and this attraction is known as hydrogen bond and the bond angle is always 180 degrees now as you can see in this one you can see we have elements like hydrides we have a group six hydrides we have a group seven hydrides group four hydride is also there like we are comparing the hydrides of the group we have group 4 hydride we have group 5 hydride we have group 6 hydride and we have group 7 hydrides so we'll compare this strength why like first we are comparing group 6 hydrides so what are the group 6 hydride hydride means a compound which contain hydrogen or refers to hydride so what are group 6 hydride as we go down the group hydrogen is there below hydrogen it is sulfur and below sulfur it is uh, selenium so we have h2o h2s h2se and h2te so what we observe the boiling point the trend in the boiling point so first hydrogen is having the higher boiling point then moving from hydrogen to sulfur like hydride of sulfur the boiling point decrease and then moving from sulfur to selenium the boiling point is increasing what is the reason why it happen why the trend first initially the hydro like hydrogen uh, like the boiling point in water h2o is higher compared to any other compound in the same group elements and then from hydro from uh, this h2o to h2s why the there is a decrease and then from h2s selenium why there is a increase so what is the reason first in case of water in the structure what we have because in case of water there is a hydrogen bond like you have hydrogen forming a bond with oxygen oxygen is more electronegative hydrogen form bond is form in three cases when hydrogen form a bond with oxygen hydrogen form a bond with nitrogen or hydrogen form a bond with fluorine so there are lone pairs on oxygen and if this is another molecule with a lone pair so what happened there is a partial negative partial positive partial negative partial positive so oxygen is more electronegative so bond pair what it appear it appear that the bond pair is almost shifted towards oxygen as the bond pair is almost shifted towards oxygen the hydrogen which is present in the molecule is attracted towards the lone pair of another molecule and this will result in a hydrogen bond and i told you hydrogen bonds are stronger there are other bonds there are dipole dipole forces and dipole induced dipole forces but in this case the hydrogen bond is the strongest bond that is why if the bond between the molecule is stronger 
then what happened to the boiling point or melting point it will increase so stronger bond is there hydrogen bond is there that's why the water is having the highest boiling point but from moving from water to hydrogen sulfide the boiling point decreases why there is a decrease moving from water to hydrogen sulfide because in hydrogen sulfide and keep in mind as we go down the group like hydrogen sulfur selenium as we go down the group the electronegativity decreases because the distance between the nucleus and the last shell electron is more so nucleus cannot attract the electron with a stronger force so electronegativity decrease so what happen the similar structure but there will be partial positive negative partial positive negative but this is this hydrogen is not attracted to towards the lone pair there is a attraction between the positive and negative center that is called a dipole dipole force so there will be dipole dipole force and dipole dipole force is weaker here why it is weaker because electronegativity of sulfur is smaller as compared to that of oxygen and there is also another force which is called dipole induced dipole force but that is also is weaker because few electrons as it move to selenium hydrogen selenide so hydrogen selenide hydrogen selenide because selenium electronegativity is smaller as compared to sulfur or oxygen so the partial positive and negative will will be there but small but what else will be there because when two molecules collide with each other they create the momentarily it will create partial positive and negative and this is known as dipole induced dipole force and dipole induced dipole force increases as the number of the electron increases so you can see hydrogen selenide the boiling point is higher so why hydrogen selenide boiling point is higher because it has more electrons and it has greater or stronger dipole induced dipole force why dipole induced dipole force was weaker in hydrogen sulfide because it was having few electrons or less electrons is it clear the trend moving from like water was having a hydrogen bond then moving from water to hydrogen sulfide because sulfur is less electronegative so there will be dipoles but weaker force moving from hydrogen sulfide to hydrogen selenide selenium even though it is less electronegative but it has more electrons so greater the number of electrons greater the dipole induced dipole force that is why the boiling point will be higher and moving from hydrogen selenide h2se to h2te what we will observe will observe again increases so which one is a stronger force dipole induced dipole force and why it is higher because this will have more electron than compared to se is it clear this part the trend in the boiling points you have to learn this graph the table and the trend as well is it clear same thing like when we check group 7 so when we check group 7 the same trend like hydrogen fluoride hydrogen fluoride is there then hydrogen chloride is there then hydrogen bromide is there and then hydrogen iodide hydrogen fluoride will have the higher boiling point moving from hydrogen fluoride to hydrogen chloride what happened to boiling point it decreases and moving from hydrogen chloride to hydrogen bromide and iodide it increases what is the reason what kind of strong force will be there in hydrogen fluoride it will be hydrogen bond 
what is the force here it will be dipole dipole what is the force here that will be dipole induce dipole what is the for stronger force will be there dipole induce dipole and why the dipole induced dipole force in hydrogen iodide is stronger as compared to hydrogen bromide because hydrogen iodide contain more electrons so when you have hydrogen fluoride fluorine is more electronegative so electron pair which is shared between hydrogen and fluorine is almost shifted towards fluorine which create partial positive and negative there will be attraction and that attraction is called hydrogen bond i am writing hb but in hydrogen chloride hcl partial positive negative partial positive negative so dipoles are there permanent dipole called dipole dipole force but in hydrogen bromide because bromine is less electronegative so they don't have permanent dipoles not the effective one so when the molecule collide it create a shifting or the distribution like partial positive negative and this shifting will be more as there are more electrons so in case of hydrogen iodide the dipole induced dipole force will take the effect and it increases the boiling point that's why you can see first hydrogen fluoride then hydrogen chloride then hydrogen bromide and hydrogen iodide same thing happen the similar pattern you can see in case of group 5 hydrides which include ammonia then phosphorus hydride then arsenic is there so what we observe the trend from nh3 to ph3 what we observe the boiling point it decreases and from ph3 to sbh3 what we observe we observe it increases what is the reason because here we have hydrogen bond which is stronger here we have dipole dipole force hydrogen bonds are stronger than dipole dipole that's why nh3 boiling point is higher then there is dipole induced dipole force and because more electrons so dipole induced dipole force increases with number of electron that's why this will have higher boiling point than ph3 and then dipole induced dipole force increases as the number of electron increase so in comparison the last one will have the highest boiling point but why it does not happen for group 4 this was for group 5 hydrides but why it does not happen for group 4 group 4 they don't have hydrogen bond because hydrogen bond is only possible the hydrogen bond is only possible when hydrogen forming a bond with more electronegative elements such as oxygen fluorine or nitrogen so the, the first one it they have dipole dipole or dipole induced dipole forces basically main and dipole induced dipole force increases as the number of electron increases so that's why you can see for ch4 having a low boiling point compared to sih4 sih4 having a low boiling point than gh4 and gh4 is having a low boiling point as compared to sn h4 reason for that they have dipole induced dipole forces and these forces increases as the number of the electron within the structure increases is it clear the trends in the boiling point for the hydrides of group 6 group 7 group 5 and group 4 any doubt in this any question or a doubt so this was about the intermolecular forces the parts are also there are still will continue this intermolecular forces next class the topic is not complete 
we'll continue next class. So I will end the session and share the recording with you.